Let's look at a nice problem that comes from a certain South American math Olympiad. So this is from the year 2016. So let's use this notation A, B, C, D overline to mean the number with the digits A, B, C, D. So necessarily those numbers A, B, C, and D come from the set 0, 1, 2, up to 9. Okay, so now that we fixed that notation, let's look at our problem. So let's let overline A, B, C, D be from the set 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, all the way up to 9, 9, 9, 9. So in other words, it's like nominally a four digit number, but it's really a one, two, four digit number. So it's a one digit, two digit, three digit, or four digit number. And we say that this number is special if it satisfies two conditions. And these are compound conditions, so it's really kind of like four conditions. So we've got this overline AB minus this overline CD and overline AB plus overline CD are both perfect squares. So if you take both the sum and the difference of the first two digits and the last two digits, you get a perfect square. And then furthermore, we have this divisibility condition. So the difference of the first two digits with the last two digits divides the sum of that setup, which divides the original number. And then the example given in the problem is 2016. And I think likely they built these conditions so that 2016, the year of the exam, was a special number. And so let's observe that 20 minus 16 is four. That's clearly a perfect square, two squared. 20 plus 16 is 36, six squared. And then four divides 36 and 36 divides 2016. Okay, so let's get to it. So let's start with this first condi condition. So we know that AB minus CD is a perfect square. So let's say that's equal to M squared. Then we also know that AB minus CD divides AB plus CD. That means AB plus CD is a multiple of AB minus CD. So we should be able to write AB plus CD as M squared times something. But the fact that both of them are perfect squares, that means it's equal to m squared times n squared. So it's a product of two perfect squares. But now let's take the sum of these two equations and observe that that gives us 2 times ab is equal to m squared times n squared plus 1. And this will be like maybe the first important equation that'll help us in the last couple of steps here. So I'm going to put an underline there. So next up, let's dive into the condition given by this AB plus CD divides ABCD. So here we have AB plus CD divides, so ABCD, but I'm going to write that as 100 times AB plus CD. But let's observe that that's exactly the same. But now AB plus CD divides itself, well, and it divides this thing over here, so that means it divides a linear combination of, well, itself and, well, the original number. So that means we can take the difference and we still have a divisibility condition. So let's just put that in here. So it's gonna divide this difference, like I just said. Okay, good. But what sort of simplification does that give us? So now we have AB plus CD must divide. Well, a bunch of stuff cancels there and we get 99 AB. But now let's observe that we know that AB plus CD is equal to M squared times N squared. So this tells us that M squared times N squared divides 99 a b okay good but now we've got this rule up here that says that 2 a b is equal to m squared times n squared plus 1 so let's divide the divisib or multiply the divisibility condition that we've just built by 2 so we have 2 m n squared divides 
99 times 2ab. But now we can replace that 2ab with our m squared times n squared plus 1. Okay, so we've got 2m squared n squared must divides 99m squared times n squared plus 1. Then next up, we'll divide off the m squared from both sides of this condition, and we'll have 2n squared divides, let's see, 99 and then n squared plus 1. Okay, good. But now observe that if 2n squared divides that, then most definitely n squared itself divides that stuff on the right-hand side, so I can get rid of that 2. But now that's going to bring me into two different conditions. I either have n squared divides n squared plus 1, or I have the case when n squared divides 99. Now this case when n squared divides n squared plus 1 is actually pretty boring. The only thing that n can be is 1, and that's because 1 divides 2. But actually 1 dividing 2 is the only instance of a number dividing, well, its successor. So if you get past 1, well, there are no solutions to this divisibility condition. But now notice that if n is equal to 1, we can plug that back up here. And what we'll see is that CD must be equal to 0. So here we have CD is equal to 0, 0, which means that AB over line must be a perfect square itself. So that means this AB comes from the set of, well, all two-digit perfect squares. So 0, 1, 0, 4, 0, 9, 16, 25, 36, let's see, 49 is next, 64 is next, and 81 is next. And now to build our number A, B, C, D, well, what do we have? Well, we just glue a 0, 0 on the end of each of those numbers. So we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0, 1, 6, 0, 0, 2, 5, 0, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 4, 9, 0, 0, 6, 4, 0, 0, and finally 8, 1, 0, 0. So we've got our first list of, let's see, that's nine special numbers. And that comes from, well, this first case. So now let's see what we get from this second case. So if n squared divides 99, well then that means that n is equal to 3. 3 is the only perfect square that divides 99. Okay, but that gives us this nice system of equations. So we have AB minus CD is equal to M squared, and then AB plus CD is equal to 9M squared. Again, that's just plugging this in right here. But now let's observe that we could add these two equations or subtract these two equations, and that, that'll allow us to solve for AB. So we have AB is equal to, uh, let's see, 5m squared, whereas CD is equal to 4m squared. Okay, so we've got one last step before we get the rest of our special numbers. So far we've determined that these nine numbers at the top of the board are so-called special numbers in the setup of this problem. And that was just one of our cases. The second case had this condition that AB was equal to 5m squared and CD was equal to 4m squared, where m, well, that's just going to be some natural number. So observe that if m is equal to 0, then you get 0, 0, 0, 0, which is kind of a special number, but notice it doesn't have this rule that it comes from the set given. It does satisfy these two conditions, though. But let's see what we get for the other values of m. So if m is equal to 1, we have a, b is the number 0, 5, and c, d is the number 0, 4. If m is equal to 2, then we have 5 times 2 squared, or 20, and then we have 4 times 2 squared, or 16. For 3, we're going to have, let's see, 45, and then 36. For m equals 4, we're going to have 5 times 16, which is 80, and then 4 times 16, which is 64, 
And for n equals 5, we're going to have 5 times 25, which is 125. Oh, but observe that that is not going to work because AB is a two-digit number. So that means we don't have to consider anything past 5. So that gives us the list of first digits and their corresponding second digits for the rest of our special numbers. So we can simply add those to our list. We also have 0504, let's see, 2016, 45, 36, and finally 8064. And that's a complete list of special numbers. And that's a good place to stop.